morning everyone. Today's going to be an absolutely beautiful day. It's supposed to be around 80 degrees and the sun is shining again. So uh, let's get started. Good morning. It's a very warm morning. A very humid, sticky morning. We just got done doing a big shrub job. That one takes us uh, about an hour to trim all the shrubs around that house. Um, we just give you a little bit of a view because chasing the uh, camera on and doing all them shrubs is uh, kind of a pain in the butt on that street. But. but yeah, the lady that lived next door there, she just passed away like a week or so ago. And she would always be out her window telling us, can't you guys cut them shrubs out? Them are the hideous looking things that are ever us. Well, they weren't her shrubs. Well, the neighbor or the lady that owned the shrubs, she always wanted us just to trim them. Well, anyways, we seen the one lady's uh, mom and we told her about it. She goes, I'll take care of it. Well, then we never heard nothing, another word Not mom, her. daughter daughter yeah. yeah we never heard another word out of her after that because if we would have seen that was. lady's mom that would have been awesome because that lady was that passed away was 92 years old and she was always complaining about them shrubs <laughs> she hated them things but that was uh the fight between them two neighbors there was uh very funny to us because the one neighbor's 83 the other one was 92 and they just bickered back and forth constantly and it was to and then um there was a tree that got cut down in her yard and it was laying on our customer's garage and she wanted us to trim it
something that looked like a jungle. We finally did one. Vines wrapped around the shrubs. Uh, we're taking a little bit of a break here in the truck. So we're done with this uh, hedge trimming job here on this yard. I said we we're only, Vicki said, we're only gonna do one sh uh, shrub trimming job today, right? And I says, yep. It's number four, plus how many yards? I don't know, we didn't do many yards because we got slowed down from the trees, but the shrubs. And we skipped a couple yards because uh, they're, they're, dried, they're out. dried out. So we've got probably about six yards that we cut, somewhere around there. Yeah, the, yeah. Something yeah. like that, and then four shrub jobs. So that's pretty good for us for today, and it's only three o'clock. So we're see, there was one. So. There was only one that we did today, two that we did today that we didn't do no shrubs on. So we did or, six lawns, right? Four shrub well, jobs, six lawns. Yeah, we did six, but we only did two that. Right. So. So anyhow, uh, we got like I said, I'm gonna take. We're gonna take about a 10, 15 minute break just to cool down because it's 80 degrees and. Yeah, it's warm there. Yeah, the dew points today are 65, which is unbearable anywhere from like 60 to 70. Oh, yeah, I don't know about unbearable, so, but... But yeah, it's uncomfortable, they call it. Right. And that's where we're at. So we're supposed to get thunderstorms, and that's probably part of it. And the clouds are rolling in. I can see them coming in. So uh, we'll do everything we can just to get everything done before it starts raining here. I know it's only August, but look at the color of that tree. Okay, we just got done with another tiny yard. This is the one that uh, was um, overgrown and I cut with the Toro Tiny Master. I'll put a link up there. But uh, when I hurt my shoulder, there was a lot of comments by people around us that we shouldn't be doing that stuff that we're doing because we are senior citizens technically so uh, we don't believe in the senior citizen mentality of you should slow down at a certain age even though we are slowing down just because we don't want to be as busy in the lawn care because uh, we're still just as busier now than we ever have been uh, just that we want to bring the lawn care back down but uh, today is uh, even though we're senior citizens the heat is getting to us today I guess the humidity is getting to us today trimming shrubs in the direct sunlight mowing these push mowing these yards in the backyards there where there's no breeze and this happens every time on this uh, granny day because these are all granny yards and we deal with this every single week at this I guess we have to change a day or something so the temperature changes but today's the last day for this I think it's supposed heat. to be lows it's supposed to go lower starting tomorrow cold front coming through supposed to get more rain which will keep everything green and then the temperatures at night's going to be in the low 50s it could go into the 40s so yeah. that's quite early for us in august yeah we usually don't see that till mid-september right so yeah and the trees are already starting to turn are up here already and a lot of them are losing their leaves already the fruit trees are all losing their leaves i should say and the apple trees are they're not doing very well this year well I think they said the apple trees are gonna be late like really late because it was so cold for so long so we have uh, three more yards to do and then we're gonna stop for lunch good afternoon well Mark was talking about senior citizens the other day about how he hurt his arm and you know actually for his age which he's in his 50s the um, upper side of 50s yeah, when you were born in the 60s, like him and I, you know, I think we can consider ourselves in a good spot. We may, may, may not be like the ones that are in their 30s or 20s, but I feel that we're doing pretty good out there doing lawn care. Because we do see a lot of people that are our age that can barely even move. They're just old and it's it's scary or sad whichever you want to prefer or prefer to say of how old they got and they're not that old but a uh, wise man once told me you don't have to be 75 years old to be old so when we say that we are tired i believe we deserve to say that we are tired yes because we've we've 
have worked hard for many years. And uh, I worked in it for an excavating company for 17 years and I was putting in 80, 90 hours a week, every single week, all summer long for 17 years. So, and then once we quit that, I started, uh, I had at least two jobs the whole time working about 80 hours a week. So I've been working really hard for the past uh, 30 years. So like I said before, it's time to start slowing down. Yep, so we're trying to get everything organized so that, you know, next year we can at least do 10 to 20% cut off our, our lawn care. And uh, we've worked hard and it's, it's time. To slow down. Because we need to start enjoying our grandkids and our family. Because we're not getting any younger. And they're getting older, so we're going to lose out on all they're growing up and we don't want to do that at all so yeah we're going to get busy doing uh, other things with the sign shop and stuff like that but that's different work that's not taking up our whole day i mean it's not like hard sweating work no it's just time consuming so which is not that time consuming either So uh, this yard was just a big old pain in the butt. Uh, you seen, uh, I don't know what the camera showed up there, but um, pulled up this yard and the whole yard looked like that. Well, we've been trimming shrubs and everything else and the front of the trailer is full. Plus we got all the mowers on there. I have no more room to dump anything. That bagger was full halfway through the yard. So yeah, I sort of made it look like I was cutting it or picking everything up but it was actually mulching everything in there and the guy didn't um, didn't notice that I was what I was doing and uh, he just said that your other mower picks up better than this one and which uh, I told him yeah it does the gravely does actually pick up better than the skag but I was mulching the whole yard up and uh, everything just turned out fine there as long as the customers happy and they get mad at me we're all set because otherwise he would have gone emptied out the whole trailer and then come back and did it again and I ought to put us uh, way late tonight. And now it is time for Vicky's question of the day. Short question. Short question. Because I'm so long-winded from what he's telling me, I'll make it short to the point. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> if you showed up to a yard and there was scaffolding there, would you stay and mow the lawn or would you just leave and come back at another time? Because you couldn't cut the whole yard because everything in the way. Answers down in the comment section below would be greatly appreciated. So we got so used to being certain mowers. Uh, Vicki runs on a certain job and I run a certain mowers on a certain job. The yard we just got done with since the protero is broken and that bagger is off, the gravely, Vicki automatically hopped on the skag with the bagger on it. Because that's because I'm used to driving this skag and that gravely. I'm used to getting around the trees real good so I don't have to trim as much. I can't do that with that gravely. Yeah, she's a, I she, don't know. I'm having a little bit of problem with that. That's because she hasn't run it that much. She's used to running that skag. She can, of course, that skag is a little, little uh, faster at the lower RP or at the 
shorter distances. So, but uh, it's just a thing to throw us off a little bit. But we did fine. We got the yard all done. Yeah, it was a little tall. That's one of the lawns that grew real nice. Yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know why it, that, that yard all of a sudden is doing that, but it's growing really long every time we're there. Pretty much have to double cut it. It's a farmland. It's got good dirt. Good dirt in there. Probably the whole area was a garden. So we just finished up our last yard, I think. We're gonna go check on one yard, but I don't think it needs to be cut. I went by it the other day and it didn't look like it. Um, we did uh, nine yards and uh, four shrub jobs. Two of them were major shrub jobs. We just spent over an hour on each uh, yard just doing the shrubs. So uh, Please remember to uh, like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified on our next video. So that is gonna be end of our video for today. Thanks for watching us mow grass today. Have a good evening and see you at the next lawn. Peace. Bye-bye.